I'm Mark Thiessen, Washington Post columnist and senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute with 10 America First reasons to support Ukraine. Reason number six, support for Ukraine will increase U.S. military preparedness. The New York Times reports Ukraine has become a testing ground for state-of-the-art weapons and information systems and new ways to use them that Western political officials and military commanders predict could shape warfare for generations to come. For example, Ukrainian forces have deployed a new real-time information system known as Delta, a cloud-based network-centric warfare system that allows Ukrainian forces, local officials, and even vetted civilian bystanders to use laptops, tablets, and mobile phones to share the details about the location and capability of Russian forces. The Times reports, quote, the software developed in coordination with NATO had barely been tested in battle, but Ukrainian forces employed it to push the Russians out of towns and villages they had occupied for months. Ukrainian forces are also testing new sea drones, including explosive, uncrewed surface vessels, combining them with aerial drones to take out much larger Russian warships. The Ukrainians have carried out complex assaults on Russian naval forces off the Crimean port city of Sevastopol, destroying nearly 20 Russian vessels, including the Moskva, the pride of Russia's Black Sea fleet. Capabilities and concepts tested in the Black Sea could be crucial to resisting a Chinese assault in the Taiwan Strait. Ukraine is also testing Lithuanian anti-drone weapons known as sky wipers, never before used in combat. The Pentagon is sending Ukraine experimental anti-drone missiles to take down Iran-built Shahid-136 self-detonating drones. Indeed, Ukraine has put out an offer to U.S. defense manufacturers to bring their latest gear to Ukraine to try it out in real combat situations. New strategic doctrines developed by the U.S. military are also facing real-world tests. The resistance operating concept, for example, provides a blueprint for how smaller nations can effectively resist a larger invading neighbor. CNN reports that the doctrine, also known as the ROC, provides an innovative and unconventional approach to warfare and total defense that has guided not just Ukraine's military, but also involved its country's civilian population as part of a concerted resistance against the Russian army. The lessons learned on the battlefield in Ukraine could be used to help Taiwan, sending Beijing a message that even if it succeeds in crossing the Taiwan Strait, Taiwan can successfully repel a Chinese invasion on the ground. Finally, after years of fighting non-state actors, the war in Ukraine is reorienting the U.S. military to prepare for great power conflict. The axiom goes that militaries always prepare to fight the last war, which for Americans is an anti-terrorism war focused on counterinsurgency. Suddenly, U.S. military planners find themselves focused on helping defeat a conventional military. In Ukraine, the Pentagon is able to test U.S. capabilities and strategies in real battlefield conditions, instead of having to guess how an adversary will react in a war game, all without putting any American lives at risk. This is transforming our military for the threats we are likely to face in the 21st century. While a war with China would differ from Ukraine in important ways, this preparation for great power conflict will enhance our ability to deter aggression before it happens.